Hunter Biden gave testimony practically all day here at a center by Capitol Hill on Wednesday in the impeachment inquiry launched by the Republican Party. That inquiry seeks to implicate President Joe Biden in allegedly corrupt dealings involving his son, Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden's arrival was keenly anticipated, but he had, uh, perhaps predictably, very little to say heading in for his deposition before the House Oversight and Judiciary Committee. That uh, hearing took place behind closed doors under a deal struck between the two parties in which Hunter Biden agreed to testify so long as the deposition would remain behind closed doors and also not videotaped. The testimony began about 10 in the morning and concluded about 4.30 with some breaks. But some of the content of Hunter Biden's testimony has filtered through. Hunter Biden accused the Republicans of peddling in what he called uh, baseless and MAGA-motivated conspiracies about his father. He said in his opening statement that the Republicans had been hunting him for more than a year in partisan political pursuit. He said the Republicans have trafficked in uh, innuendo, in distortion, in sensationalism, that they have ignored clear and convincing evidence to the contrary, that they have offered no evidence because there isn't any. Hunter Biden did acknowledge his battle with addiction. He accepted he had made mistakes. He said he's responsible for those, that he's making amends for those, but that those were his own personal mistakes. They had nothing to do with his business, let alone with his father's involvement in any such business. It's, of course, not all about his addiction. Hunter Biden is also facing federal tax and gun charges. Hunter Biden was emphatic in testifying that his father was not involved in his business, and he appeared to have been very strong on rhetoric in making his point and in making his defense. The investigation that the Republicans have launched, he said, is built on a house of cards on lies. His attorney, Abby Lowell, summed it up at the end of his deposition as he saw it. The Republican majority ends the day with where they started. They have produced no evidence that would do anything to support the notion that there was any financial transactions that involved Hunter with his father, period. It seems to me that the Republican members wanted to spend more time talking about my client's addiction then they could ask any question that had anything to do with what they call their impeachment inquiry. So, as I said before, there is no evidence because there is no evidence, and today only confirmed that. Thank you. Welcome back to a public hearing. Will you do a public hearing? On the other hand, uh, Republican Congressman James Conner, chair of the House Oversight uh, Committee, sees it and said it very differently. We. Uh, we have a lot of questions for Hunter Biden, uh, specifically revolving around the, the 100 plus suspicious activity reports he got, uh, spe specifically around what some of his associates have testified that uh, Joe Biden communicated frequently with all of these shady characters who are wiring the family money. So uh, we have a lot of questions for Hunter Biden based on financial crimes that he was being investigated for by the IRS Criminal uh, International uh, Crimes Division of Shapley and Ziegler. Comer claimed that the deposition proved several bits of the evidence that the House has been pursuing. A renewed push is now underway for a public deposition that could be seen transparently without having to be accessed through claims and counterclaims. Ma'am, can you? Just lower yourself. Hunter, what do you hope to tell the committee today? Mr. Biden, 